All right, guys, welcome to the horoscopes for Capricorns this week of the 6th of November, which will go to the 12th of November. And of course, we're going to continue doing this, guys. So welcome to our new horoscope section. I'm Journey Ryan. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on for Capricorn. So Capricorn, you guys have got some great energy coming your way. Actually, you're going to see all this great energy around you, but you can have a hiccup here, feeling a bit stuck. I know that the last week was kind of overwhelming for you and you guys are feeling like you've been stuck in the mud. Well, guess what? You can unstick yourself as long as you start taking a look at all those blockages, all the things that are keeping you from moving forward. You need to be able to remove these blockages. Now, this is the hard part, but not for, not for Capricorn because Capricorns have the ability to shut off their emotions. Not always a good thing that I recommend for a Capricorn, to shut off their emotion their emotions because it makes them inhuman so if you're a capricorn out there try your best never to shut off your emotions but to learn how to deal with emotion or deal with your own emotions in this case you're dealing with your own emotions where you've given out too much of yourself to everybody else and you haven't given enough back for yourself so allow yourself to grow by removing those blockages. That means that there's somebody that's in the picture that no longer needs to be there. They no longer serve a purpose. All they do is cause pain, headache, and irritation. Take a step back from them. Now's the time to kind of push them away. And if they're that toxic, maybe cut them out. It is a time for you to start looking at yourself right now. Look at the things that you can do to build yourself back up and you'll be able to move forward. This is looking really good for you and it can be very positive, but the problem is if you don't remove those blockages, you're going to see everybody else moving forward and being in this positive energy and you're going to feel singled out. You're gonna feel alone. You're gonna feel like you're stuck and nothing else is gonna change and the energy is not gonna be good. So take action, think things through thoroughly and get rid of the blocks and allow yourself to move forward and think about yourself a little bit more. Now, Capricorns, let's take a look at the things that you've got going on in your work area. All right. So taking a look at what's going on with work, work should be going really well for you. As a matter of fact, your employer is thinking that you're you're doing a great job. If you work for yourself, you can you notice that things are a little bit busier for you. You feel really positive. Work is your element. This is where you're going. You're heading that direction. That's amazing. As a matter of fact, if you're looking for some change, let's say uh, if you're in your work situation and you're like, I want to do something different, I want some change. Now's a good time to start looking for that change. It's going to take a couple of weeks for that type of progress to happen for you. But if you're keeping your eyes peeled, you're going to find what you're looking for. Those of you who don't have work happening currently, right now is the the best time to start checking things out. Now, you're not going to find anything immediately, so hang in there. Things do change around for you, but it will happen within the next few weeks. But you have to start looking now because what you're looking for, you'll end up missing, and that's not something you want to do. So something to look out for there, Capricorns. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on for you guys in love. All right. So when it comes to love for you guys, what I'm going to say is love is not exactly your guys' best energy currently. And that has to do with a lot of respect for yourself, loving yourself. You're giving all your love and your energy to everybody else. But what about the Capricorn? The Capricorn needs to be loved as well. Even though Capricorn doesn't like to deal with a lot of emotion, the one person they always forget when it comes to giving love is giving some back to themselves. Now, I do know sometimes we can feel a little bit selfish when we do that, but this is not a time to feel selfish. This is a time to nurture yourself so you can find yourself back in your love life the way you need it, um, getting things straightened out. If you're looking for love, being able to connect with people, because if you're not connecting with yourself, you're not going to connect to the people in the way that you would like, and you will find yourself hurt. You guys will hide from love, and that is not a healthy place for you. So... That is what we got going on in Capricorn's love life at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at money. All right. So when it comes to money for you guys, 
I'm going to say Capricorn, this is, you have a great emotional bond to your work, but if your work is not doing you justice, it's making you ha unhappy, you feel like you feel stuck. These are one of those things that we were just talking about prior is that if you're feeling stuck in your job, if you're feeling stuck in the situation, if you have feelings that if you're feeling like you're in other people's business and you don't want to be, you feel too involved, try to pull yourself back. Consider what you need and what you want versus what everybody else needs and what everybody else is want. You cannot be everybody's hero. Um, make sure you make these changes, but do them in a good way. Do not make them a bad situation uh, for yourself because you could find yourself in deeper turmoil. All right, Capricorns, let's check out the spiritual side of things. What do we got here going on? All right, so with the spiritual, talking about what's going on there, you've got a lot to to kind of reflect on. What, again, I would love for you guys to, pr to practice loving yourself. If you don't have what it takes to care for yourself, you're not going to have what it takes to help other people. And I know that's something that Capricorns love to do. They love to take charge of things. But if they're not in charge of their own lives, they are not going to be able to help somebody else get organized, feel good about themselves, or do that humanitarian thing that they love to do. Um, being yourself is important, so make sure you consider that. Make sure that you are connecting yourself to the spiritual world. If that's giving yourself just five minutes to meditate, connecting, doing whatever it is that you do spiritually, make sure you put a little bit of your spiritual practice in there because that is going to be uh, monumental for you. It's going to help you along the way. It's going to help you love yourself. It's going to give you some time to yourself. So I hope you guys are paying attention to that this week because it's very important. All right, Capricorns, that's what I got for you this week. I do appreciate you guys checking out our new horoscope videos. They will be coming out weekly. So check us out every week, every Monday. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh,